The year is 2025, and a new global contest is underway, not with armies or weapons, but over the rare earth minerals that quietly power our modern world. This is a race not for territory, but for the resources that fuel the technologies of tomorrow from electric vehicles to advanced defense systems. These minerals are essential for everything from smartphones and laptops to wind turbines and solar panels. For decades China has held a near monopoly on their supply, shaping global markets and influencing the pace of technological innovation. The world's dependence on these elements has only grown, making their control more strategic than ever. But today, the spotlight shifts to the Philippines, a nation of over 7,000 islands, where a remarkable discovery is set to change the balance of power. Once known for its rich biodiversity and vibrant culture, the archipelago now finds itself at the center of a global scramble for resources. Vast, untapped reserves of scandium and neodymium have been found in the archipelago's nickel-rich soils, minerals critical for high-strength alloys, electric vehicle batteries, and the magnets that drive green technology. Scientists and engineers are racing to assess the full extent of these deposits, while investors and governments take notice. This revelation has transformed the Philippines into a potential kingmaker in the global tech sector. The country's stock markets are abuzz, and headlines speculate about a new era of prosperity and influence for the nation. The United States now sees the Philippines as a vital partner to break its dependency on China's rare earths, offering new alliances and investments. Meanwhile, China is leveraging its dominance to create a two-tier global market, using its economic power to maintain its edge and influence over supply chains. The world is watching Manila, as decisions made here will have global consequences. International media, investors and policymakers are all focused on the Philippines, aware that its choices could reshape the future of technology and geopolitics. But with opportunity comes risk. Will the Philippines harness this newfound wealth for sustainable development, protecting its people and environment? Or will it become a battleground for foreign powers, caught between competing interests and escalating tensions in the region? The story of the Philippines' rare earth riches is just beginning. The choices made now will echo for generations, shaping not only the nation's destiny, but the future of the world. To truly understand the Philippines' future, we must first look to its remarkable past, a past shaped by ingenuity, resilience, and a spirit of exploration that has defined its people for thousands of years. This is a history of innovation and maritime trade stretching back an astonishing 35,000 years, when early Filipinos were already forging connections across the seas. Recent archaeological discoveries have revealed that these early inhabitants were not just passive settlers, but skilled mariners, intentionally navigating open waters to reach islands like Mindoro, long before the age of modern navigation. For them, the sea was more than a barrier, it was a highway, a vital link connecting distant communities and enabling a vibrant exchange of goods, ideas and culture across Southeast Asia. The discovery of bone tools designed for deep-sea fishing and obsidian artifacts traced to distant islands sometimes hundreds of kilometers away show not only advanced technology but also the existence of established trade networks that spanned vast distances. Artifacts like giant clamshell adzes found both in the Philippines and as far away as Papua New Guinea point to ancient far-reaching connections and a shared heritage of craftsmanship and exchange. The Philippines was never isolated. It stood at the very heart of a vast, dynamic network of innovation, trade and cultural exchange that shaped the region for millennia. This enduring legacy of navigating complex networks and forging connections across the seas is a powerful precedent for the challenges the nation faces today. By looking to the past, we find valuable lessons for leveraging resources, building relationships, and thriving in a rapidly changing world reminding us that innovation and exchange have always been at the core of the Filipino spirit. The Philippines' mineral wealth is rooted in its unique geology, shaped by millions of years of tectonic upheaval. The archipelago sits at a complex junction of Earth's plates where collisions and subductions have forged rich mineral deposits. In 2023, scientists discovered the remnants of a massive lost tectonic plate, Pontus, beneath the region. The subduction of Pontus created the mountain belts and volcanic arcs that define the Philippines, concentrating rare elements like scandium and neodymium. This discovery provides a scientific roadmap for mineral exploration, helping pinpoint the richest deposits. Understanding Pontus connects the nation's violent geological past to its economic future. 
The secrets of this lost world are now being revealed, unlocking the Philippines' hidden riches. Ancient tectonic movements have become a modern treasure map. The Philippines' true mineral prize lies in scandium and neodymium, rare earth elements vital for high-tech and green energy. Found within the country's nickel laterite deposits, these elements were long overlooked but now represent a strategic asset. Scandium strengthens aluminum alloys for aerospace and energy, while neodymium powers the world's strongest magnets, essential for electric vehicles and wind turbines. A single wind turbine can contain over 600 kilograms of neodymium. With 95% of the country's mineral wealth still unexplored, this is just the beginning. For years, China supplied over 90% of rare earth magnets wielding immense geopolitical leverage. The Philippines' reserves offer a credible path to diversify global supply chains. This discovery is a game-changer for Western nations seeking alternatives. The world's green transition may now depend on the Philippines. The Philippines' vast reserves of rare earth minerals have unexpectedly thrust the nation into the heart of a new and complex global power struggle, one that is rapidly intensifying between the United States and China. These minerals, essential for everything from smartphones to advanced military technology, have become the new oil, fueling ambitions and anxieties on both sides of the Pacific. This is not a battle over territory or borders, but a high-stakes contest over who controls the world's supply chains and, by extension, the future of economic and technological influence. The ability to secure and process these minerals is now a critical factor in determining which nations will lead in the 21st century. The United States recognizing the strategic importance of rare earths is aggressively building new alliances and investing in domestic industries. The Philippines has emerged as a key partner, with Washington offering support for mining, processing and infrastructure to reduce dependence on Chinese supply chains. High-level diplomacy is now laser-focused on securing Filipino minerals, which are vital for both defense systems and the rapidly growing clean energy sector. Every negotiation, summit and handshake is a move on this new geopolitical chessboard. Meanwhile, China is weaponizing its dominance in the rare earth market, slashing exports to the U.S., tightening regulations, and creating a two-tier global market that favors its own allies and industries. This strategy is already disrupting Western industries, causing factory shutdowns and supply shortages, while simultaneously strengthening China's economic bloc and its influence over global manufacturing. As the rivalry escalates, other nations are being forced to choose sides and a wave of resource nationalism is sweeping across the globe. Countries are tightening control over their own mineral assets, wary of foreign exploitation and eager to secure their own futures. Corporations like Tesla and other tech giants are now racing to lock in non-Chinese supply chains, investing billions in new mining projects and forging partnerships in regions like Southeast Asia, Africa, and South America. The Philippines, once overlooked, now stands at the crossroads of these powerful currents its leaders balancing opportunity and risk as they navigate between competing superpowers. With its newfound mineral riches, the Philippines has become a coveted prize in a global contest that will shape the future of technology, security and economic power for decades to come. As rare earth values soar, so does the covert battle to control them, a shadow war of espionage, cyber attacks and intelligence operations. Geological surveys and processing technologies are now guarded like military secrets, the Philippines has become a prime target for foreign intelligence with state actors like China, Russia and Iran leading sophisticated campaigns. The real prize is intellectual property, proprietary data, and advanced metallurgical techniques. Mining companies, universities and even individual geologists are now targets. A single cyber attack could leak sensitive data, giving rivals a roadmap to the nation's resources. Protecting this information is as critical as defending physical borders. Every foreign investment and partnership must be scrutinized for security risks. The Philippines must rapidly build a counterintelligence shield to protect its billion-dollar secret. Failure could mean the nation's wealth benefits foreign adversaries, not its people. The Philippines faces a monumental opportunity and a profound dilemma. Rare earth wealth could drive economic growth, industrialization and global influence. But the risks are real corruption, environmental damage, and the resource curse that has plagued other nations. Mining can pollute water and destroy ecosystems if not strictly regulated. Many deposits lie in rural and indigenous areas, raising questions of land rights and fair compensation. 
ensuring local communities benefit is essential for social stability. The government must craft transparent, inclusive and environmentally responsible policies. The nation stands at a crossroads sustainable development or exploitation and division. The choices made now will shape the country's future. Experts from geology, archaeology, and geopolitics offer crucial context for the Philippines' path forward. The discovery of the Pontus Plate hints at even greater resource potential. Archaeologists highlight a legacy of innovation and resilience, vital for navigating today's global pressures. Geopolitical analysts warn of the weaponization of mineral supply chains and the dangers of becoming a pawn in superpower rivalry. The convergence of these views frames the central challenge, leveraging geological gifts and historical ingenuity while avoiding environmental, social, and geopolitical pitfalls. The potential rewards are immense, but so are the risks. Prudent, careful planning is essential for success. The world is watching how the Philippines will respond. The Philippines' rare earth discovery is a global event, shaping the future of technology, climate, and security. The world's green transition and technological progress now hinge on a stable supply of elements like neodymium. Yet the path forward is uncertain, shaped by shifting energy landscapes and political decisions. Will this discovery foster stability and competition, or become a new flashpoint for conflict? The answer depends on the wisdom of leaders in Manila and beyond. The story of the Philippines' billion-dollar secret is a call to remain engaged and informed. The choices made today will determine if this discovery is a blessing or a curse. The world is watching.